Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Vijay Lashmi. This is a continuation video of my previous uh, history of artificial intelligence. So next is today we are going to discuss about agents and its environment. So here is again an important question for the external exam. What actually is an agent? If you see this uh, diagram, you can see this is the agent that is the computer program and you have here an environment and two functions here that is perception and actions you can see here. So here uh, an agent is nothing but it can be uh, anything which uh, that can be viewed as perceiving its environment through sensors and acting upon the environment through the actuators is called as an agent. So it will percept the environment and then it performs some actions. So here uh, it be a, a human agent, it can be a program or a human or a robot. So a human agent has eyes, ears and other organs for sensors, okay, because agent will sense, okay, with the help of sensors, the input, mouth and other body parts for actuators. Then robotic agent might have cameras or infrared range finders for sensors and various motors for actuators, okay. Then if it is a software agent, it receives keystrokes, file contents and network packets as sensory inputs and acts on the environment by displaying on the screen, writing files, okay, writing files and sending network packets. So this is the uh, different kinds of agents. Agents percepts. So percepts, we use the term percept to refer to the agent's perceptual inputs at any given instant, okay. Next is percept sequence. An agent's see a percept sequence is the complete history of everything the agent has ever pursued. Okay, guys. So here we say that the, the process of looking for a sequence of actions that uh, reaches the goal. Okay, so that is nothing but the perception sequence we say. Next is. Uh, this one, uh, we, we say that the agent's behavior is described by the agent's function that maps any given percept sequence to an action. So every agent has a function, okay. So here that uh, agent function is nothing but its behavior, okay, uh, that maps the given percept sequence to an action is called as a function. Next, agent program. So uh, the agent function for an artificial agent will be implemented by an agent program. Okay, the agent function will be implemented by the agent program. It is important to keep these two ideas distinct. That is the agent function is an abstract mathematical description. The agent program is a concrete implementation running on the agent architecture. So we'll, uh, we'll try to understand these two points with the help of an example. So here that is the agent function and the agent program. So here, see this is an example of a vacuum cleaner world with just two locations. We have location A and B, okay. So now this is a vacuum cleaner agent and you can see here some dirt. So this is called as a dirt and you have two locations that is location A and location B, two squares. So this, this is the environment the agent has to learn. If it finds the dirt, the agent has to pick that, that is suck that dirt. If it is clean, okay, if this is clean, then the agent has to move to the next location, that is B, okay. So, you have two locations here, A and B here. So, here the vacuum agent pursues, that is through the sensors, it observes, it checks, it understands whether there is a dirt in the square or not. So, it can choose to move towards left or right, suck up the dirt or do nothing. If the agent is here, in square B means it cannot do anything because see it, if there is a dirt it has to pick the dirt. If there is no dirt means it cannot do anything. So one very simple agent function is the if the current square is dirty okay if it is dirty then what it should do suck the dirt. Otherwise what move to the other square. If it is clean move to the other square. So this is uh, nothing but this is a function. Now we have to write a function. It includes what function and agent program. So now how to write this function? Function includes what sequence of steps? Okay, the set of rules what we are going to include now here. What is the agent's behavior? If uh, based on the program, it has to decide what behavior it has to do. 
Now check this age and function guys for that uh, a toy problem what we have taken vacuum cleaner. So for such sequence if A comma clean that is in the location this is the location okay and the status okay if it is clean move towards right action is what move towards right. If A comma dirty means what if it is in the square A so the vacuum cleaner is in square A or B okay. So, if it is in A, if it is dirty means it has to suck. If there is no dirty means what? It has to move towards right. So, that is what this meaning here. So, A comma dirty suck. So, next perception uh, sequence you have written is what? B comma clean. If it is clean in this B location, then what it should do? It should move towards left. Okay. And B comma dirty. Suppose if there is a dirt in this location B, then what it should do? It should suck. So here A comma clean and A comma clean. Both are clean means what? So here it should move towards right. So A comma clean if it should move towards right. And if it is A comma clean state and A is having uh, or if uh, this if in uh, A comma dirty you have A comma dirty means what it should perform suck. Like this you have to write the perception rules. This can be written in the form of a function here that is function reflex vacuum agent. So, here based on the location and status, it will return action. If status equal to dirty means what? Then return suck. Else if location A, if it is in location A means what? Then return right. If it is location B means what? Then it should move towards left. So, like this you can write the program however you want. Okay. So, here uh, um, this the uh, search algorithm what it does it takes the problem as an input and returns a solution in the form of action sequence. So here uh, what action it has to perform it will take that so that uh, uh, the actions it recommends can be carried out and this can be performed in the execution phase of the uh, agent. Okay guys so that's all this is so next is a rational agent so a rational agent is one that does the right thing. So rational agent always does the right thing. So we say that the right action is the one that will cause the agent to be more successful. So that leaves us with the problem of deciding how and when to evaluate the agent success. So we use the term here performance measure. How to measure the performance of the agent. Okay. So here uh, uh, the criteria that, are, that determines how successful an agent is agent cleaning the dirty floor and performance measure how do you measure the performance of this vacuum cleaner amount based on the amount of dirt collected and how we are measuring this so weekly for better results so every week we have to measure whether it is properly correcting the dirt or not so based on that we decide that this how is the performance of the agent whether it is 100% or 90% or 80% so that decision we can take and then we can again enhance the features. So that's all about this uh, agents uh, um, that is a vacuum cleaner agent next we'll see the environment. So the performance measure the environment okay the performance measure the environment and the agent actuators and the sensors come under the heading task environment okay. So here the agents actuators and sensors falls under this task environment. So we follow what is called as the P's. So here P's means what? P means performance, E means environment, A means actuators and sensors okay. Suppose example if you take agent type is a taxi driver okay. Then performance how do we measure the performance based on the safety fast, legal, whether comfortable trip, maximized profits. So based on how based on these parameters you measure the performance. And what is the environment this taxi driver, this self-driving car we are going to use that is on the roads or other traffic pedestrians, customers. And actuators are what? Steering, accelerator, brake, signal, horn display. So based on the environment it is uh, 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 the uh, perceived it has to take the action to perform the action it makes use of the actuators what action it has to perform so sensors the sensors are mainly used to collect the input sensors can be what camera sonar speedometer gps odometer accelerometer engine sensors or it can be a keyboard so here depending on the environment uh, this piece will change for different agents 
So here, goal-based resistance coming for goal-based resistance. A goal-based agent has an agenda. It operates based on the goal in front of it and make decisions based on how best the uh, how best to reach the goal. So a goal-based agent operates as search and planning function, meaning it targets the goal ahead and finds the right action in order to reach it. So here its main concentration is on the goal. So in order to achieve the goal, so here it has to take the right action. So to do the take the right action, it takes it makes use of many searching techniques. So that we will discuss in the next coming uh, uh, videos. Next we have next type of agents are problem solving agents. Okay, so coming for problem solving agents, we have uh, these problem solving agents are based on goal based and problem solving agents decide what to do by finding sequence of actions that lead to the desirable states. So now problem solving agents. We are going to discuss in the next module, next video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment.